In this video, we answer a question which has confused students and teachers in the past. Tuples, are they a static or dynamic data structure? So in this video, we're going to take a look at an area of computing that often causes confusion. Various sources can provide seemingly contradictory information on a subject while at the same time both being correct. Now this disparity often comes down to how sources have chosen to implement a particular concept. Though we're discussing tuples here, this issue is typical of many concepts in the field of computer science. Before we look at the question in depth, let's just recap some basics. A data structure is static if its size cannot be changed at runtime, and it's dynamic if its size can be changed at runtime. A data structure is said to be immutable if its structure and the data it contains cannot be changed at runtime, and it's said to be mutable if the structure and the data it contains can be changed at runtime. So here's the description of a tuple by George Rouse et al. on page 156 of their Computer Science for A-Level textbook. It says, a tuple is an immutable list, that is, once set up, it cannot be changed. The tuple can be used exactly like a list, with the data ordered and accessed by an index, but there are no options to add, delete or modify the data. Tuples are used where it's important the data can be accessed as a list, but must not be changed. Well, it's really clear from this description that tuples are being described as a static data structure. Here is the description of a tuple by PM Heathcote et al. on page 182 of their OCRAS and A-level computer science textbook. A tuple is an order set of values, which could be elements of any type, such as strings, integers, real numbers, or even graphics, images, sound files, or arrays. Unlike arrays, the elements do not all have to be of the same type, and the number of elements in the tuple can increase or decrease. In other words, it's a dynamic data structure. So with this description, a tuple is described clearly as a dynamic data structure. Now these two definitions, both by very respected authors, appear to be in direct contrast with each other. But like many other computer science concepts, it often comes down to how the structure is actually implemented. Here we have declared a tuple called score and set it up with three initial integer values, 5, 0, and 12. The size of the tuple, three items, cannot be changed at runtime, nor can the data it contains. In this example, the tuple is a static and immutable data structure. In the second example, we've declared a tuple called score and set it up with three initial values, John, five, and score list. Now John's a string, five's an integer, and score list is a list. Now tuples allow us to mix data types without any issue. Notice how the third data item score list itself is actually a list. And a list, of course, can be dynamic. In other words, the number of items in the list can grow and shrink at runtime. So in this example, we could argue the tuple is dynamic and mutable, as it could grow or shrink, and its contents could change at runtime. So is a tuple dynamic or static? Well, as you can see, it really depends on the implementation. In this sense, both authors are correct, as they have approached it from very different points of view. Of course, this can be confusing for students, and what you really want to know is, what do I learn and what do I put in the exam if I'm asked this question? Well, it's better to play it safe in your exams and treat a tuple as a static and immutable data structure. 
In other words, its structure and contents cannot be changed once they've been set. Even if your tuple contains a string integer in a list, the overall structure still won't change at runtime. Well, at least we know arrays are static, right? And that's what the exam board states. However, some modern programming languages do actually allow you to change the size of an array at runtime. Therefore, an array could also be considered a dynamic data structure, depending on the programming language you use. This is just another example of where you should play it safe at A-level. Arrays are traditionally considered to be static data structures. The fact modern programming languages implement them differently is not worth worrying about at A-level. What we've discussed here is highly indicative of the subject that you are learning in that the concepts are changing all the time. With computer science, what was once true can change rapidly as technology continues to evolve. For a nice summary and absolute clarity, we've provided here on the screen a summary of a list, array and tuple and the facts that you should learn for your examination. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. Are tuples static or dynamic data structures?